Hey guys, let's teach you how to install an arc fault breaker. So many of the new arc fault circuit breakers are going to the snapping kind that will utilize this, but you're still going to run into some that are potentially the old um, style with the pigtail. This is a 15 amp breaker. I'm going to take it out of the box, read any instructions, make sure that we follow everything in the manufacturer's specification. That is a 110.3B issue. It's a code reference. And um, what all it says is that we must install it according to the manufacturer specifications. So, all right, so this is an arc fault breaker. This detects series and parallel arcs, and I will make a video for you guys explaining what the difference between those are. But today, we're just going to look at the breaker. So, basically, just like the other breaker, if you watch my how to install a breaker video, and this is going to be push button for testing, and then this is going to be the pigtail. So, the first thing we're going to do is come to our panel. This is the circuit that I want to arc fault protect. When you are installing a regular breaker, you only install the hot onto the breaker. But with arc fault breakers, you're actually going to install the neutral and the hot to the breaker. And that way it senses in between it. So, with that being said, you're going to install it like a normal breaker and snap it in. Then, and one of the major tips I want to give for installing arc fault breakers of any kind is turn the breaker off. Because if I install this, also never work in an energized panel, this panel has no wires to it, and never repeat anything in these videos, just use them for educational purposes. So, first thing you do is you snap the breaker in, then you're going to take your neutral, and you're going to curl it up to your neutral bar, and terminate it at the neutral bar. Then, after you've done that, you're going to take the neutral from that circuit, and if you're going to install one of these later, and you have to find the neutral and pull it off the bus bar, for one, you should never be working in an energized panel. And for two, you have to really make sure that you're getting the right neutral from the right circuit. Sometimes it takes several minutes to figure out if you have the right neutral. Because if you were um, to pull a neutral from another circuit, for one, the breaker would trip. For two, in the meantime, if that breaker were sending power through, when you pull it off, you could actually fry everything in between it. So just always make sure that you have the neutral and the hot pair. Trace it all the way up to top here and make sure that you have the right pair. So then you're going to take your neutral and you're actually going to come down here and curl it just like we did before. And you're going to land it to the breaker just like I taught you in how to install a breaker. And if you look here, it's going to be labeled load neutral and load power. So you're going to land the neutral to the neutral and you're going to land the power to the power just like a normal breaker and then tighten everything down and energize it. Oh, and I kind of got off on a different point. If you were to have this here, and say you hadn't landed the neutral yet, and this breaker were on, this neutral is actually hot, and you can get shocked or electrocuted by it. So before you ever turn that on, you always land the neutral first. That's just a really important tip that I learned the hard way when the breakers first came out. So Really hope that you guys got some good information out of this, how to install an arc fault breaker. I'll make you another video on when to use an arc fault breaker and why and what the difference is between series and parallel arcs. I hope you have a great day and please like and subscribe.